Hello everyone and now in this particular video we will see how we can install the docker in our this window system okay so currently here you can see I'm on this particular website docker.com slash ingest slash install you can come upon on this uh, by uh, typing as well you can just search on the Google like docker install and you will come upon on this screen just click on it and you will be on the same screen on which I am okay so now in today's video we will be basically installing for the windows okay so here are some different options as well for different os like linux mac you can install on those os if you want otherwise uh, if you want to install for windows so you are on the right place okay so what we can do uh, for windows you have to just click on this docker desktop for windows so here are the some information which you will see like system requirements and all those things WSL about windows containers everything you will see on this particular page and this one is the button which we will use to uh, download the exe so we will get one exe file through which we will install the docker okay but before starting uh, you, will, you will need to first check the system requirement like it is important for us to install docker so the first requirement you can see it should be windows 11 or windows 10 it should be of 64 bit and the version you can check here like it should be home or pro or enterprise or education and uh, it should be higher or 21 h2 it should be okay so to check the version you can just uh, uh, press windows r and you will need to just write uh, type winver like windows version and here you will come up on this dialog and here you can see the version in my case it's uh, 22h2 and the it is windows 11 okay so same you can check uh, in your computer as well and also uh, you can see here the enable WSL2 feature on, on Windows okay so for this what you can do you have to just uh, open the command line and just type the command WSL if it is there it, uh, it will show if it is not you can just install it using WSL hyphen hyphen install okay so it will install WSL for you so WSL is nothing but the Windows supported Linux uh, okay so it is required to install the docker okay and the uh, other like general like 4 GB, 64 GB RAM should be there, 64 bit processor should be there and also virtualization should be enabled that is also one point. So how you can check for virtualization like it is required for okay. So what you can do you can just uh, hit control shift escape okay it will open your task manager. You will come up on this screen you have to just click on the second one performance and then you have to go in the CPU and here you will see virtualization is enabled by default it is enabled but if in your case it disabled then you can enable it by going in BIOS setting so you can follow some other tutorials for that as well so for different PCs there are some different keys like F8, F5, F4 something like that you can check so I hope uh, it is clear the system requirements and all so now moving forward uh, you have to just click on this docker desktop for windows it will start this one installer it will inst uh, start downloading this installer actually I have already downloaded it it's uh, of uh, some 600 MB so now what we will do we will just click on it and you have to just hit yes and it will take some time yeah if you want to add to desktop yeah I want okay so it will unpack some files okay so just wait for the unpacking okay after that it will try to install and after all those things uh, we will need to uh, restart our PC as well that is also one point after that it will uh, like uh, installation will be successful okay so I hope uh, you are enjoying this series of our docker like in our previous video we have talked about the docker file image and container so I hope these all concepts are clear to you if not you can ask us in comment section as well so just wait let's see till then we just uh, go through the uh, what are the other things which we have here uh, for the WSL we can check the documentation as well so here you can see how we can install so this is the command which we will use to install the WSL 
So here you can see developer can access the power of both Windows and Linux at the same time on a window machine. That's what WSL uh, game. Okay, the Windows subsystem for Linux. Okay. So sorry. Uh, so with that we can install many Linux distributions. So we can install Ubuntu, Kali, Arch Linux, and all. Okay, let's check. Okay, so finally it's installing. Just wait. Yeah. So here it is saying you must log out of Windows to complete the installation. Okay. So uh, let's do this. All right. So here you can see uh, we have got some error and it's uh, it's showing we need to update the WSL. Okay, no problem. We'll just copy this one. Quit Windows R CMD. Right click enter. Click on yes. Just wait for the installation. Just see how much time it will take. Five percent is now okay. So if in case, if in your case it shows logout, then you do logout. But again, just try to uh, just restart your PC. Okay, otherwise it will uh, it will show like Docker stopped. Just wait for the installation. Thirty-eight percent is done. So it's stalling fifty four. Just wait, guys. Till then, I just pause the video. Okay, so here you can see, uh, we, like. Uh, Windows subsystem for Linux has been installed. It's fine. Now just close this one again. Click on Docker Desktop. Just wait. And here you can see Docker Desktop is starting. Okay. Just wait. So it means we have successfully installed the docker actually and from here you can search for different images like where which we are talking about images in the uh, in our previous videos so we can use the images for, for like uh, which other developers have created okay so here you can see uh, to try running a docker copy and paste this command into a terminal and then come back okay we will need to do this one all those things and the images volumes everything you will get uh, here okay so today we will just stop here like uh, our the installation is successful now in our next video we will learn about how we can create images all those things okay so that's it for today's guys and i hope you like this video if you have any queries or you face any problem just tell, tell us in the comment section okay so that's it for today's video thank you for watching